Hi everybody. So working on the pieces of the tail cone. So that's the back skid plate. And in our last video we were just clicking in the very rear bulkhead uh, for that plate. Now this is a very tricky, tricky installation. We're talking about the back of the tail cone here. Uh, so to get that thing lined up, so basically you've got that the, the pieces are involved are you've got the, the rear bulkhead, you've got the skid plate. I mean, they call it the back bottom skin, but I'm calling it the skid plate. It's what it is. Uh, you've got the forward bottom skin, and you have both side skins, and you've got a couple of the side stiffeners as well. All that stuff all hovers around that back skid plate and bulkhead combination. And it can be very tricky. So you're supposed to, oh, not, and not to mention the bulkhead next to it. So the order of it from top to bottom is you, you'll have the bulkhead in place. We're talking about the second one from the back. And then the bottom of the skid plate will go directly underneath the rib. And then the front bottom skin goes on the very bottom. So there's a layer sandwich. Also, the skid plate needs to come on the outside of the stiffeners, not letting the stiffeners get to the inside of the plate. So the first time I pushed it in, it felt, I mean, I saw the, when I looked inside, I saw the stiffeners on the ends, on the outside of the plate because it's still, because those stiffeners are still underneath the side skins. So it was going side skin, bottom skin, oh wait, side skin, stiffener, and then skid plate. And I thought, huh, that looks kind of weird because it was kind of hard to jostle it in there. Uh, no, no, no. Even though there's no real picture of it in the plans, you can kind of infer from looking at a couple of pictures a couple of pages later that it's supposed to be side skins uh, and then uh, bottom skins and then the stiffeners on the inside of that. At least I think so. I'm pretty sure. Now that I'm watching myself do it, it's kind of hard to tell. Basically, it's one of the two ways that I just described, and I'll make sure to clear that up later once I go back out and look at it. Anyway, enough of me being ridiculous. Oh, we have a guest. Come on. So now that everything is in place, uh, it's now time to click that thing up officially because it's about time to start putting on the side skins. That's your guest, Slim Cat. Say hi, Slim Cat. She doesn't. She doesn't work on command. So yeah, uh, so just now I'm just getting everything clicked in, and um, yeah, there's no real surprises on this other than trying to get the layers correct with the uh, skid pad and the bottom skin on the bottom. You have to make sure that the uh, stop. Run, damn it, cap! Stop rubbing against the microphone. Come here. Um, there I am doing nothing. Sounds about right. Okay, so once everything is clicked in, okay, so we don't uh, we don't go to the side skins just quite yet. Uh, we actually start by uh, riveting in the second from last bulkhead uh, to the skid plate. But only the bottom, and it says you know go from the inside out. Now this is something that you can handle as a single person. Uh, I don't. Mm, I mean, it would. You could definitely do it with two people. I think that would actually be advisable. Uh, I was able to do it okay. If if you're really good at riveting, I don't say really good, but if you've got a lot of practice and you're confident, then go for it. 
uh, it can be a little tricky. And and those are flanges, right? So you got to imagine they're just like the front of ribs. They've got a lot of individual flanges that have rivet holes in them, and those you got to uh, treat with extra uh, respect because they might not automatically be bending themselves to the roundness of the bottom of the skin. So when you push the rivet in, it look like it's like, oh, I've got a number three and a half, but I can barely even see it popping through the second piece of metal. You know, uh, maybe I need a, a three and a, uh, maybe a four, maybe even a four and a half. So you just kind of have to play it by ear when you see what it looks like once you start putting rivets in. Cat, you are all over me. Can't you see me trying to record something here? Anyway, okay, cat's gone away. So yeah, so you you so you're gonna be riveting on the next uh, the the two rear bulkheads, or I should say the three were the third, the very final one's already riveted in. You'll do the next two, only along the bottom, uh, uh, which are the only ones that I did because I thought, okay, I'm just gonna do the bottom of them up to the flanges uh, because it says just to do it to the bottom skin, not to the side skins. Gotta remember, all the bulkheads past it are already riveted down to the bottom, so they're perfectly fine. It's only those back three that you have to deal with, and one's already done. So you're just doing the, the next two, you just have to rivet them to the bottom skin, not the side skins. You're going to do the side skins separately, which I do believe we will be starting in the next video. I could be wrong. I don't know who's sitting there with me, but he's in the reflection of the uh, thing there. So yeah, anyway, in the next video, we'll start on doing the side skins, and that's a whole bunch of fun, so I'll uh, see you soon.